Hello, today I am going to discuss about the PLC addressing. In today's example, I use the Allen Bradley or Rockwell Automation SLC 500 PLC as an example. Note that this concept can be applied to Allen Bradley or Rockwell Automation Micrologic Series PLC also such as shown in this picture here. This is the example of the SLC PLC series, okay, which is a SLC 500 in today's case. So this is a format of the PLC addressing. So the first letter is called file type. Okay, what is file type? This is a file type. It can be output, it can be input, status, binary, timers, counters, control, integer, floating point, etc. Okay, the second number is called file number. This is a file number. The file number is a unique number that is associated to the file type. Alright, for example, status, file number is 2. Timers, file number is 4. Control file number is six, etc. Okay, so this file number is separated by a colon, and the third number is called element number. So it sounds very abstract, right? So what is element number? Okay, this element number is none other than a slot number okay what is slot number slot number is for example for this micrologics plc this is slot zero this is slot one this is slot two this is slot three this is slot four okay another example for this plc slc 500 okay this CPU or the processor of the PLC, okay, slot is slot 0, this one is slot 1, this one is slot 2, this one is slot 3, okay. For this uh, SLC 500 PLC, for uh, the digital input is located at the slot 1 and slot 2. The digital output card is located at slot 3, okay. As for this micrologics, uh, PLC where this PLC has the digital input terminal points as well as digital output terminal points so <coughs> this is the element number is a slot number and this is separated by a point okay the phone number is called the word number what is word as we know word mean equivalent to 16 bits right 16 bits and this word number is separated by a slash and then the fifth number we call it bit number bit number is a bit okay bit so actually this bit number is none other than a terminal point okay terminal points this is a terminal points this is a terminal points all this one is terminal points okay where it connects to the external sensor switch or any external loads okay the wiring is always connected to the terminal points all right for this plc we have the about just assume 12 digital input terminal points which is equivalent to 12 bits and it has about 12 digital output terminal points which is equivalent to about 12 bits right so as we know one word equal to 16 bits so 12 bits is can be grouped under word zero okay so for this example if you can see this digital output card actually consists of two words how we know because you can see here all right this part actually has about 16 bits 
all 16 terminal points and then this portion here another 16 bits or 16 terminal points so this digital output card have two words which is words zero okay you can see terminal point zero until 15 so this is a word zero and then this one is a word one okay word number zero and then word number one which start from bit 16 to bit 31 okay so how do we write the addressing okay let's say i use this plc as an example okay one thing i need to highlight the slot number must be something physical something that you can see and touch so it must be a digital input or digital output card because that one is a physical that you can see there are two types of file types which the first one is a physical as i mentioned just now which is an input and the output so input refer to the digital input or analog input card output refer to the digital output or analog output which something you can see you can touch so it's considered a physical file the other one is a virtual file which you cannot see or touch such as status binary timers counters control integer floating points okay this is a virtual file type which you cannot see or touch because it is a virtual it do not have the slot number for all these file type okay okay let's say i want to address this uh, output okay let's say i have uh, this digital output terminal point here okay so output is o you can see example here o o associated file number output is zero zero okay the file number slot number is zero so i write here zero again so the word number is always start from zero for this one as we know because it is it has about 12 terminal points for the digital input and output so the bit number let's say the output terminal point that i want to use is eight so the bit number is eight which let's say uh i have a digital input card okay maybe this for example this is a digital input card okay so i want to write this addressing for this digital input terminal point number five okay so digital input this one i right i okay i you can see example here i so the associated file number is one all right okay element number is a slot number slot number is three right so you can write three okay the word number as we know here maybe it's about 12 or maybe about 10 i'm not sure just assume that it is it has about maybe uh, uh maybe about 12 terminal points which is other word number zero okay so the bit number is this one five all right note that for input and output file type the file number can be omitted as shown in this example right you can see it do not use o0 or i1 okay it can be omitted if you want okay so now another another example just now i talked about the digital input and digital output how about the analog output analog input okay just give me a moment let me erase this one how about analog so the way we address the analog input output is the same that we do for we did for the digital input output okay for example this is a analog output okay so here maybe have about four terminal point so i want to address this terminal point number three okay so 
this analog output or oh, the file number is zero or you can omit this file number so the slot number is four right four okay as for analog input output is usually only have the word number it do not have a bit number why because analog value can be a very huge value so you usually it needs the word so in this case the terminal point is number three so the word is number three also okay so number three so this bit number don't have okay how about uh the rest of the file type let's say i want to write the addressing for timer how okay for timer timer is t right you can see this example so timer t so timer associated number is four okay as we know timer is a virtual file which is something you cannot see or touch that's why it do not have the slot number so this slot number don't have the point also don't have so the word number so it can be represented by timer zero one or two or three or four until 255 number okay for example uh, i use uh, maybe 10 or maybe 11 okay so it not, do not have the bit number okay so if you want to write clearly you can write such a way t4 colon okay 11 okay of course it will have slash then maybe it may have uh sorry of course that the addressing is not so simple it still have another words or let letter or number behind it so that's it thank you